Alright, can Matt kill somebody? These noises are confusing me. Oh, come on! This video is brought to you by Toasty Deals, a Twitter account made by, well, us to deliver you PC hardware and tech deals every day located right in your Twitter feed. Check the link down below and drop a follow and also mention us on Twitter telling us what kind of deals you are looking for and we will do our best to try to make it happen. So check out Toasty Deals today, link in the description down below. Hey, how's it going guys? Toasty Bros here and recently we've been really into the live streaming game and we have picked up a couple of systems that are actually going to make live streaming on a budget possible. So what Matt just showed you right back there is Optiplex 390s. They're both pretty much identical except they're slightly different and we'll talk about how they're slightly different. But long story short, Optiplexes are dirt cheap. You can go on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and even find them online through some of our buddies even. And you can get them for under $100. And with that, we can do something called a two PC streaming setup using OBS NDI. Okay, so you guys might have seen that Matt actually did a video on this PC here. Don't get it confused because they're like the same computer, but this one here is an i5-2400, 8 gigs of RAM and a hard drive and whatever else that you really care about. 1050 Ti, that's kind of important too. But this one here is an i7-2600 with all the exact same specs, 1050 Ti, hard drive, RAM, you know, it's pretty much a really similar system. So we'll be using the i5 computer as the gaming PC and you might be wondering why would we do that? Well, we wanna use the i7 as the streaming PC because we're gonna be using CPU encoding, but don't forget you could be using NVENC encoder and basically using either one of these. So it's, you know, it's a cool toss up. And you know what, if you have a friend over and you guys both wanna play some Brawlhalla or like some Killing Floor, you know, you got two gaming computers right here that you guys can both play on for under $500, so. Okay, so now that you know the basics of how this is gonna work, we're actually gonna be setting up the streaming PC over on our benchmark station over there. And then we're gonna be setting up the gaming PC on our film set right over there. And then Jackson and I are gonna be swapping back and forth, playing some games, testing the live stream. One of us will be looking at the streaming PC to make sure everything is working properly. And then the other one is gonna be playing some games. And well, how about we just go ahead and get this set up and then start live streaming over on our Twitch. Okay, so while we wait for this computer to load and it is taking 12 years because hard drive, that's why you spend some extra money, maybe get some SSDs for these, but here to show you some of the peripherals, we're not really being super specific on what you need to get for this video because this is an older mouse and keyboard combo, but just really any like 20 to $30 mouse and keyboard combo work. This one is kind of nice though because the keys sound kind of mechanical, but you know, they're, they're not. Here we have the, the Epic Warrior MPOW E3 gaming headset. This comes in, I wanna say around like $22 and the sound on it is amazing. I, this microphone, it might as well be a Blue Yeti because it is- The Blue Yeti killer. It's, it's crispy clear and you guys will hear that during the stream hopefully. You guys will probably notice in the description we have these monitors called On Monitors that are listed in the description which are like a Walmart brand. This is HP and you're probably going like, okay, it's not the same thing. Well, it is not the same thing. We did not wanna go out and buy two monitors just to make this video. So we have just two really basic like 21 and a half and 24 inch monitors just to kind of prove a point here. But yeah, 1080p basically. The on monitors we have in the description down below, they work really great. We've used a few of them and they work good. C920 for streaming or C922. That's gonna work really well and make your face all beautiful. And obviously if you have a four or $500 setup, you're not gonna be using something like this. But if you wanna spend some extra money and look even more beautiful, then you know, buy yourself a DSLR and everything you need for that. Now, ideally, you're probably gonna wanna have the two PCs on one desk, mainly because you wouldn't want to read chat on the other monitor without having to have two monitors on your gaming setup and then a monitor over here. But if you do like to have that separation and you just don't wanna have two PCs right next to you, you could always do this, but add another monitor or maybe have like a phone or a tablet or something, have your chat up, because that is very important when you're live streaming. You gotta talk to the people who are actually watching. Uh, but over, but now that everything is starting to turn on, we have this setup working, we have this one working. What we're gonna do is go ahead and load up OBS. We installed NDI on both of these PCs, which if you want a full tutorial on how to use OBS NDI, I actually made a video a few months ago, if hit the eye in the top right corner, that I'll tell you step-by-step -step on how to install OBS NDI. It is very straightforward. Basically what's gonna happen is this PC is gonna be sending a signal from its OBS instance to this other OBS instance on this PC, and basically it'll allow this PC not have to do 
the encoding load and this one can just do all the work. So uh, let's go ahead and put everything up and running and then we'll be live on Twitch. This is, this is hard drive speed. So what we're doing right now, guys, is we're testing the streaming setup, the 2PC streaming setup using OBS NDI, and we're using the X264 encoder currently with the i7-2600, and it's taking forever to launch uh, Fortnite because, well, yeah, it's using um, a hard drive, so bear with us, please. These noises are confusing me. Oh, come on. God fucking damn it. It's the fucking mech. No! <laughs> Yeah. Fortnite. Oh my god. Oh, a bot! I missed everything. I'm coming after this guy, though. Ah! A mech. So it. I shoot this gun, I'm done. I'm toxic! You have one HP. No! Hide. That's what you gotta do to win the game. It's how you win the game, guys. Oh, come on! I thought I had it. All right, well, I got two kills. I'm gonna take over bot Greg. Oh, dude, that stupid button on the side is so easy to press. Oh my God. Oh wait, that's, that's friend. This guy already has an op, dude. Good thing he's bad. <laughs> What? Oh yeah, if you had to rate the stream quality from one to ten, <laughs> in case you couldn't hear Matt. Forgotten how to play. Oh I'm gonna go for it. I like how you can't like jump. You can like pull. Oh, dang it! Stupid side mouse button. I'm going after him, dude. I got him. I killed one. I'm a pro gamer. All right, guys. So this is the stream test using the Invic encoder. We're just going to be testing Rainbow Six Siege again, and you can kind of tell if there's really much of a quality difference. Um, really, you shouldn't see a major difference. Um, but really, it's another option that you could go with if you wanted to, let's say, use the i5-2400 on the streaming PC. You could use this and then get better actual gaming performance because you'll have the uh, 2600 in this compared to the 2400. So just another option you can consider. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, he was behind me. What? Help me. Hold F to slow blood loss. No, that's okay. I was like, wait, the guy just like propelled it. I was not expecting it. Hello? Anyone here? Oh no! He got me! Should have killed him. Hello. There. 
Yeah, so this was the NVENC encoder. Guys, if you notice a noticeable difference with the NVENC encoder, then you could end up swapping the setup, like we mentioned. So, uh, it looks better. Okay, well, you know what? There you go. So, YouTube, let's uh, wrap this video up real quick. So as you guys could see from our live stream results that the overall stream was really good and we tried it both ways. We tried using the CPU encoder and we tried the NVENC encoder. Our viewers actually said that the NVENC encoder was better, which we're kind of surprised about because we didn't really think it'd be that much different. But you know, you could kind of swap it around and actually use the i7 computer, which really would have benefited in a game like Fortnite. Fortnite was like maxing out the CPU. So the 1050 Ti was kind of being held back by that i5. So if you want to use the i7 as the main streaming PC and use, you know, NVENC encoder on the cheaper one, then you know you could always do that. Now keep in mind, is this like an ideal setup that we recommend you go out and do? Probably not. You'd probably be better off spending more money on a good single PC streaming setup with something like a Ryzen 5 1600 and maybe spend like $500 on that setup as opposed to $450 on two Optiplexes. But this is kind of just a concept to show you how cool OBS NDI is. And let's say you have some place where you can get access to these computers for like dirt cheap and you know somebody who wants to get into live streaming, it could be a good alternative for them. And that's kind of the main point of this video. And not to mention, as I said earlier, if you happen to have a friend over and you both want to somehow stream at the same time or use NDI in one of them and be able to go back and forth, which we do a lot of streams here, we use NDI in all three of our PCs, you can even get three of these Optiplexes for under like $700 and do like a LAN party, you know, it's an idea right Ooh, there. A custom LAN <laughs> setup right there for $700. But yeah, guys, overall, we're very happy with this uh, dual PC setup and OBS NDI is a great thing to have, especially because it's free. And if you have dual PCs, even if it's not budget like this, definitely consider using it for your next live stream. So as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.